Jenny Gilbert has made saving sick and injured turtles her life's work. The founder of the Cairns Turtle Rehabilitation Centre says many of her patients come from the Great Barrier Reef. We're seeing an increase in a lot more animals that are, are really sick. She says turtles are hatching with unexplained defects. We've actually seen several of the turtles come out of nests that have actually had abnormalities. A recent report by the Worldwide Fund for Nature and Griffith University has called for greater monitoring of pollutants on the reef. It cites a previous study of more than 1,000 turtles off North Queensland, which found heart and kidney medication and anti-fouling paint and sealant in their blood. We found literally thousands of chemicals um, in the sea turtles and their habitats um, in the Great Barrier Reef. But he says what's most alarming are the substances which couldn't be identified. Well, these turtles are being exposed to chemicals that we haven't looked at before or haven't looked for before. Eleven sites on the Great Barrier Reef are being monitored for about 40 chemicals, mostly from agriculture. We've been in the political football. Peak body groups, both in the grazing industry, the kangaroos and uh, Ag Force particularly, have been calling for all possible potential um, chemicals that could be within the water to be identified. It's an idea supported by academics. We'd like to see that extended to include pharmaceuticals, heavy metals, um, other chemicals that we know are now accumulating. Researchers want contamination hotspots thoroughly investigated. The report suggests turtles living closer to the mainland are typically less healthy than those found at sea. Some of the turtles, particularly in the coastal areas where the, the contaminants were higher, had high incidence of eye lesions and just generally in poorer condition. For those on the front line, it's not a blame game, but a race for a solution. People are taking antibiotics, people are taking heart drugs, people are taking diuretics, and it all goes out into the ocean. What we suppose we've got to look at is, you know, is there any way of filtering it? Jemima Burt, ABC News Cairns.